Okay, so we're a little bit late with this one. Among Us was first released in 2018, but has seen an enormous boost in popularity in 2020. Can I get an F in the chat for four guys? Now, we're not the type of gamers to play the latest game in fad or to play a game simply because it's popular, but we heard about Among Us and our curiosity was piqued, so we thought we'd just have to give it a try. Among Us is an online multiplayer co-op slash versus game. It pits two teams against each other where one team, the crewmates, must complete tasks or deduce who the imposters are and vote them out to win, whereas the other team, the imposters, must simply kill all of the opposing team's players without getting caught in order to win. Sounds basic enough, right? Well, the genius of Among Us is that out of the 10 players, the imposters are hidden among the crewmates. Only the imposters know who the other imposters are, there can be up to three, and they have to work together or even sometimes against each other in order to win. As mentioned, crewmates have to run around the map doing tasks and try not to get killed, whereas imposters have to discreetly kill crewmates. When a body is found, or an emergency meeting is called, all players get to vote for who they think or know the imposter is. This is where the hilarity ensues and social deduction or manipulation begins. There's nothing more satisfying than being an imposter who's just been caught killing a crewmate and then convincing all the other players that the person who caught you is in fact the imposter. This is why it's kind of difficult to review Among Us in a traditional sense, because if I'm being objective, the game has a lot of areas it could easily improve on. Playstyles for both crewmates and imposters boils down to essentially running around and pressing one button. The tasks are menial and feel like busy work instead of engaging minigames, there are only three maps to choose from, and in its current form there is neither a reward for winning nor a penalty for losing. But to review the game based solely on those elements is to do the game a huge disservice. It's a game that definitely needs to be played to be appreciated. It's masterful in its simplicity and the true enjoyment from this game comes from that multiplayer element rather than any gameplay mechanics. Trying to convince other players of your innocence or another player's guilt is where all the fun lies. The beauty of this game lies within these social elements. So while the gameplay itself may be very simple and there may be a lack of content within the game, none of this matters at the end of the day because the interactions with other players provide so much entertainment. So while there's definitely some room for improvement and expansion, such as maybe the addition of different game types, maps, more players, more game modifiers, etc, etc, what is there is absolutely gold. Sometimes we came across connection issues where some of us kept getting disconnected randomly and we even had a game where the voting period instantly timed out, but these will hopefully be ironed out over time. We hope more developers follow suit and copy the foundation of this game to make similar titles as the market for a game of this type is massive and the concept can definitely be expanded upon. So because of the unique nature of this game, we decided not to give it a score, and instead we're just going to recommend you all go out and try this game with some friends to see what we mean. After all, the game is free on mobile and only £4 on Steam, so what do you have to lose? If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I've been Z, and you've been watching Zoned Live.